If there's one thing Puerto Rico isn't notorious for, it's for the upkeep of its public facilities. Politicians love to build megastructures to daze their constituents, but come back a few years later and they'll be rotting in the sun. But don't believe me. Just look around you and you'll see what I mean. Early in 2023, we visited the William Miranda Marin Botanical and Cultural Garden in the beautiful town of Caguas. At the time, I remember saying that the place was nice and well kept, but you could hardly call it a botanical garden by world standards. Well, this time we visited the University of Puerto Rico's Botanical Garden in San Juan. And while they might be doing important work in the lab, the part that meets the eye leaves much to be desired. Stay tuned and I'll show you why. There was a time when the University of Puerto Rico's Botanical Garden was like a little slice of heaven in the middle of the San Juan Metroplex. Tourists were taken there by the bus load as well as to the main campus in the center of Rio Piedras. I guess it was our way of showing off the island's accomplishments. Well, that was then, not now. My wife and I visited the <coughs> garden on the morning of November 29. We didn't have a reservation or a scheduled tour. We just dropped by like many tourists, both local and from abroad, would do. We entered the main gate at exactly 7.50 a.m. How do I know? Well, because that was the timestamp on the camera that rides on the hood of my SUV. Our first stop was at the small shop next to the visitor's parking, where we met with an amicable, albeit ill-trained employee. I told her who we were and why we were there. In her defense, she did try to find someone to help us, but the person in charge of the visitor center hadn't come in yet, and it was already 8.15 in the morning. Opening hours are from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., So the store attendant handed us a brochure and off we went to walk the place on our own. As we entered the forest, it was like being deep in the center of the island, not in the middle of the San Juan Metroplex. The temperature was consistently lower, the air was cleaner, and you could feel that sense of peace that only a lush forest can provide. But That's about all I can say about the University of Puerto Rico's Botanical Garden, at least on the bright side. Well, maybe I could add that the place is mostly clean and groomed. More on that in a minute. My wife and I had visited the University of Puerto Rico's Botanical Garden back in 2014, and the difference was night and day. You'll see why in a minute. Our first trail took us to the palmetto, which as you might imagine, has to do with palm trees. And I say imagine because there's hardly any signage other than the large ones telling you where you are. The palms are there, and that's it. If you like one in particular, there's no way to know what it's called. 
Just before we arrived at the Palmetum, there was also a small pond with waterfowl that were overly eager to follow us around. <laughs> As we passed the Palmetum, we continued east towards the Monet Garden. As we walked east, we passed by several employees who confirmed that we were on the right path. None of them, however, told us what we were about to find. What used to be a garden with a pond in the center is now an abandoned area with stale water and a few lonely turtles.
After walking for a while, hoping to find beautiful flowers like we did back in 2014, we retraced our steps back and continued south towards the main road. In all fairness, the Botanical Garden is a research facility that belongs to the University of Puerto Rico. It's not a tourist destination like it used to be. Maybe their labs are nice, I don't know because I haven't seen them, but the forest area looks abandoned. Signage is non-existent. The vegetation nearly covers the trails. Many of the gazebos and benches are broken and we didn't see a single flower.
After returning to the main road, we returned to the visitor center, hoping to find the attendant. It was almost nine in the morning, and she still wasn't in. <laughs> As we were about to leave, we ran into the store attendant, who we told about our mishaps. To our surprise, she insisted that in her 30 years at the botanical garden, there had never been any gardens or flowers. She also said that the facilities were <coughs> clean and well-groomed. <laughs> As I was leaving, she asked if I was recording her. Well, I was. But I know not to use the footage without her consent. It's also why I've included photos from our 2014 visit. Finally, the excuse of blaming everything on Hurricane Maria is getting old. But that seems to be the reason why nothing works in Puerto Rico. As we got into our car, we tried to go by the Garden of Statues that's on the far eastern side of the gardens. But a security guard stopped us and we ended up leaving. It was around 9.30 in the morning and we were already done with the University of Puerto Rico's botanical garden. And it's a sad thing to say because we have visited gardens half its size in the mainland and we've spent four to five hours. So what can I say? That even at no cost, it's still too expensive? <laughs> yeah! Save yourself the grief. Go somewhere else. And hey, maybe I'm misinformed. Maybe it's great, but since there was no one there to ask, we did what any other tourist would have done. We went it on our own. Thankfully, the rest of the day, we visited four to five beaches for the book that I'm updating. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> See you next time.